Greetings fellow dragon fruit lovers, this is Paul, and today I thought I'd share some fruit that is set this season. Now this is Yala number one, or Yala, and it came from Paul Thompson, and definitely has Ocamponus traits. I'm really excited to try this red fleshed fruit. And we have so many, it's gonna be out of hand here in a month. That is Connie Meyer. Here are some Leo's dragons. Now, Leo Manuel, my friend had over 20 pots of this hybrid, and there's several variants. Some are red fleshed, some are magenta. That is Unknown Road, which is a great white flesh self sterile. And then here are some more of Leo's dragons. I have several. They're alternating pots all the way up the hill, and you can just see I moved them just two months ago, and the stress really resulted in them producing quite a bit of flowers and fruit. Now one interesting thing about this plant that I'm evaluating, here's another Leo's dragon, is that the flower is fully open before 8 p.m. So you can see that here, it's really beautiful. It's a huge bloom, all at the same night. So these fruit are ripening just so nicely. Now this is Danny's Pride of Fallbrook, it produces a magenta fleshed fruit. It's brixing in the mid 18s. Now here's something really interesting. I tested for self fertility, but I didn't bag it and it produced this really small fruit. And here's another one I tested for self fertility and another small fruit. So I find that really interesting. However, I cross pollinated with about 10 varieties and these fruit have set, that set are much larger, as you can see. So I'm gonna have plenty of Danny's Pride at Fallbrook soon to try. Now this is one of Leo's hybrids. He hybridized Jim Nitzel Fence with Rixford. So I'm not sure if that's what Paul Thompson used, but this was from Jim Nitzel Fence. This is seedling B. And I've had a fruit off of this one and it was really good. Pink fleshed. Unless it was A, I can't remember. But I'll do a video on it soon. Here is the sister seedling A. And again, I just moved these plants to my yard and you could see that the stress really promoted them to flower and they have a bit of chlorosis but that's gonna be okay now here's one of George Emmerich Jr's Undatus GE2 so I'm getting several fruit off of George Emmerich's plants and then here's an interesting experiment I'm checking out all the cetaceous this is Arizona purple which is said to be the same thing as sugar dragon and right now it's looking like it here are some sugar dragons it's probably just about ripe. Danny's Sugar Dragon SD9. And this is Neon. So you can see it here. Now, very interestingly enough, I have Houghton over here, which is the parent plant of Sugar Dragon. And look at the amount of spines. A lot of people are talking about spines on Cetaceous. Look at all those spines. So Houghton has several spines on its branches or fruit that's set I should say now, I do have a g3 here look at that so I'm excited to try a g3 some more neon and this one is the 3s red which could be actually 2s thanks to gray Martin's support and background on some of these older varieties. I'm still looking for Punch and 4S, which could very well be the same thing. So I'm gonna keep looking for that. Now here's an interesting one that's ripe. This is Santa Barbara Red, but there were two from William Chow. And this one is called Santa Barbara Red NSY. I thought it was not self-fertile, but I triple checked, and that's what Leah labeled it, NSY. So I'll compare this to the, what's that called? Santa Barbara Red. I will compare that because I have both. So I'm gonna see if they're the same or different. Now there is a, I believe that's Princess of the Night offhand. Bunch of Asunta fruit, Asunta one. And there's a lot more, let's see what else. Oh, Quang Ong Self Fertile is here. And I ate one last night, it was really good. And I'm still on the fence, literally, <laughs> to see if this is American Beauty. So with all these fruit, 
I'll do a nice review on Quang Ong Self Fertile soon. Here is 9S, which was a delicious fruit. I had one last night. 9S, Paul Thompson's 9S, which they say is the same thing as Dark Star. It tasted as delicious as the Dark Star that I have. Now here is one of Leo's hybrids. You can see he used Selenoceres megalanthus and crossed it with Hyloceres costarricensis, and he had around 20 pots. And you can see the subtle differences. Look at this one, this is pot B. The fruit's totally different than the ones I showed you earlier. Here's a different one that's unique in my opinion with a really, it's got a flower bud developing. And this one is definitely different. It's really spiny. I'm evaluating all of these and then this one is my favorite. Look at this beautiful plant. So this is another seedling sister. I'm calling this pot. I don't know offhand. I'm not going to bend down right now. You can see it's unique flower buds right there. Look at those. Super cool. And then here's another one. Oh, that was E. This one's F. So there are about six sister seedlings or more right now. I'm checking them. Here's another one of Leo's dragons. Actually, all of these are Leo's dragons. And then he did a Hyloceres undatus crossed with G2 and a G2 crossed with Hyloceres undatus. Here is Orton Engelhart and undatus. I'm really excited to try this historic Undatus, this white variety. And then last but not least for today, I have to head to work, is that, look at this one, Quang's A2 Hybrid. So this is from Quangong. You can see it's very, very green. A developing flower. It's very green. So there you go, there's just some of the over 300 varieties I have in this chaos. Give us a like and a subscribe. So, so I can't say that, subscribe. Have yourself a wonderful day. Take care.